Hey, you woke up pretty quickly this time. Seems like knocking your head worked. Chief, do you feel uncomfortable anywhere? I prepared some of Mr. Doyle's hangover drink. brought her back to the Bureau. I'm sorry, Chief. I made this decision on my own. Sinner Mess is in a highly unstable state. Soon after both of you ingested Ambrosia, she entered a deep sleepwalking state, spewing huge amounts of extremely dangerous spiritual contamination. Compared to S666, the contamination from Sinner Mess is greater in volume, higher in concentration, and overall more aggressive and destructive. It's even more dangerous than herself. It took us a long time to bring the situation under control. Because we didn't know when you'd wake up, I decided to take Mess to the Bureau for detainment first, then wait for you to cast your shackles on her when you return. <laughs> How much of her reality do you know of to make this decision for her? She hasn't woken up yet, but she is no longer sleepwalking. Her physiological functions have returned to normal, and the contaminants discharged from her sleepwalking state have also disappeared. She's been transferred to a regular ward for observation. Don't worry. She's just in a deep sleep. Nothing out of the ordinary. I knew you'd say that. Go ahead. The scene is the same as it was. We'll wait to hear from you. I heard that you woke up, ma'am. Mr. Doyle has already discovered the truth. He's really quite sharp. It took him no time at all to see through our little plan. He threw a huge tantrum and demands to settle accounts with you. <laughs> no need. Inspector Doyle is highly productive. We acquired a lot of interesting information about Quinn from him. It's been a long time since I've seen him so motivated. I think the inspector regained his passion, thanks to you. Sleepwalking has greatly increased among ordinary citizens recently. With this transaction record, the investigation can finally make a breakthrough. Thank you so much. As for your target, the woman who is Mess's supplier and the maker of Ambrosia, we also found some interesting info about her. The woman calls herself Serpent. She's a freelance entertainer and a circus performer who is somewhat famous in East Side's high-class salons. Two weeks ago, she signed a contract with Quinn to perform regularly at the Midsummer Nights Club. 
We found nothing suspicious about this, nor did it trigger the mania alarm. I think probably both. At least in this case, her employer is highly suspicious. That's right. The shadow of Outland Capital has always lurked behind Quinn. Plus, they show a strong interest in the hypercube industry. The Outland Affairs Bureau is keeping an eye on them for the security of our city-state. But Inspector Doyle discovered other interesting things. The M-Value Detection Network in District 14 has been tampered with. And there is a hidden escape door near the Midsummer Nights Club. Further investigation found that Miss Irene, the president of Quinn and a rising star in Eastside's business world, privately met with multiple sinners at the Midsummer Nights Club. Perhaps she built the secret escape door to cover up her plan to exploit the sinners. If I dare make an even bolder guess, perhaps she's a sinner herself. I'm going off topic. We need more evidence to confirm Quinn's actual involvement in this incident, but at least it is certain that Sinner Serpent is the mastermind behind this series of events. She accepted Quinn's employment offer and hid in the club to mask the M-value fluctuations of her powers when she made Ambrosia. That's right. Sinner Mess brought Ambrosia to mass consumers, while the Midsummer Nights Club catered to Ambrosia's high-end clientele. If a direct motive is to spread Ambrosia and create sleepwalkers, the Ninth Agency predicts that Serpent will do something big at Midsummer Nights Club's opening ceremony two days from now. If it's related to that serious case many years ago, then it makes matters even worse. We will contact the FAC as soon as possible to obtain the dossier. In this case, Inspector Doyle's experience is indispensable. He's the incredible inspector who had come into contact with the Marv case. Speak of the devil. Please answer it, but be prepared to get yelled at. <laughs> hey, Dom. <laughs> you know, oh, don't, don't do anything rash. Yeah. Wait for me. Wait till, wait till I come back. I'll take you. Nah, Nasha. I am here. I am. I'm. I'm coming. He called to yell at you. My apologies. Apologize to him when it's all over. He'll forgive you.
It's over. I should have known. <laughs> I'm so stupid. What was I hoping for? Uh, think about something else, Doyle. You're an inspector. You have the audacity to pop up after tricking me so bad? <laughs> what a hot-headed rookie. All right, then. I'm the senior one, after all. So... It's related to the Marv case after all. Uh, this complicates things. The maker of Ambrosia can spy on the dreams of the sleepwalkers, as well as separate and filter consciousness. What the heck does that mean? I want some more solid intelligence. Ah, here. A photo of the suspect. Ah, performer for Quinn. <laughs> I was gonna check out the company's latest hires anyway. Let's see who it is. So, this is... Serpent? Not at the club, but, uh, at that bar. According to that rookie's intel, she's extremely cautious and almost never leaves the club. She even conducts her ambrosia sales through middlemen. Then why did she go out that night to somewhere so far away? It's such a lovely evening. Let's cheer up with something sweet. Here, my treat. She came specifically to find me and make me drink Ambrosia. She knew I was handling the case, so I was targeted. Even though there's only a bit left, I promise you'll like it. But she controlled the dosage to ensure that I don't sleepwalk. She wanted me to remain conscious. Why? Oh, f me! There's no time. I have to leave a message, quick. We don't have any shared secret signals or code word. Oh, that won't work anyway. She'll deal with that too. Phone, 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 phone! Number you are dialing is busy. Please wait and try again. A message, a note, anything! It... My gun, where's my gun?
come to see you, darling. Inspector? Enjoy your sweet dream. You don't have to be sad anymore. A mania crisis has broken out at the Midsummer Night's Club. All surveillance points have gone silent. The M value range has expanded, affecting 33% of District 14. Mania crisis level B plus. A? A plus, it's still increasing. What's happening at the scene? This M value. It's an S class center energy crisis. Chief! <laughs>